Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at the software that is known as Blue Iris. This is an application that allows you to get your own kind of video security system in place at your home, place of business, whether you want to watch after your pets, family, or just general safety. This allows you to use multiple cameras, whether they're webcams, etc., and turn them into live feeds so that you can monitor and, of course, feel more secure with Blue Iris enabled. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and take a look and demo of the actual software. Keep in mind, you can check out our link down below at the end of this video to go ahead and get that free trial and or buy Blue Iris. So here we are in the application, and as you can see, I am demoed here on two separate camera feeds that I have set up, one through my internal webcam and another external microphone, or I should say camera here. And you can set up pretty easily. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and remove this camera right here. So I'm going to go into the camera properties. Um, you can see I have this camera currently set up. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this camera to show you how easy it is to actually add a camera. So you can add any camera through USB, uh, through a network IP camera if you have that. Very easy here. So you have your camera settings in the top left. You have the ability on this plus sign to add another camera. And you can see here, you're going to go ahead and give your camera a full name and a short name. Choose what type of camera it is. In this case, mine is a USB camera. And then you can enable things like it has motion detecting. So this is really great for security so that when people walk into a room, for example, if it detects motion, then you can have the camera start recording or certain features. You can even do direct disk recording, meaning that it does automatically records the feed uh, to your hard drive. So I'm going to turn off motion detecting in this case, but I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm going to choose here the camera that I am accessing here. So in this case, I'm accessing a USB camera. You also have the option to do screen capture, a network IP-based camera, or broadcast from a client app. From there, it asks you the format of the image you want. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just set it to like 640 by 480. You can adjust that depending on your needs. And then you can adjust things like the max rate of FPS. So if you want it to be higher, for example, then you can increase that as needed. So if I want it to be like 20 FPS, then I can increase that. Um, and I can choose to do other video or image formatting, like rotating the image, so on and so forth. Now, depending on how high quality of the image you want, this is where you adjust those settings. If you just need it to be an actual feed, you don't need it to be super high quality, then adjust those settings as needed. And then as you can see here, I now have this camera enabled, and it's you can see much more fluid. This one is 20 frames per second, whereas the other one is just the default 5 frames per second that it's averaging there. Um, automatically, you see the camera is stamped with time and date which is really great for security purposes that way you know when something takes action now if you have something like motion detecting set up here you'll see it automatically records here on the right so this is your clip bin if you have any sort of motion detection enabled you can adjust that there now if you have cameras with some sort of control you can adjust the pan the zoom those sort of things if you have some sort of security camera that has those features built in in this case i'm just using a basic webcam you can also, of course, choose to listen to sound and manage sound this way. If your microphone supports two-way talk or your camera supports two-way talk, then you can talk through the camera. So in the event that there is an intruder or something like that, you can actually you know, uh, throw out a verbal warning there. Now the bottom showcases your timeline. So this is your timeline of events. It'll show you as things occur and you can kind of zoom in, zoom out. So this allows you to see things in real time as they happen or of course you can check them later on as an archive to see when certain events may have taken place. Now outside of that, your main controls are all exist in the top left. You have your camera properties, which you can of course choose to adjust. So things like your frame rate, uh, camera you know, settings like we just looked at earlier, the audio. The trigger settings, so again, if you want to go ahead and activate things like motion sensing um, and have certain actions when it triggers what to do here. Um, you can have the recording settings, so some people like to record directly to a hard drive or some sort of format. You can choose those options, whether it's for video or snapshot, because your camera can also, or the software can also take pictures if it detects motion, so you can set that up. And then you can even have it upload or post out JPEGs as needed here, so you'll adjust the file name and save it to your hard drive. Uh, you can do webcasting feature. So what this allows you to do is a live streaming sort of feature so that you can access this elsewhere um, and keep an eye on it. Uh, that's all up to you. And then you also have the ability to set up, which is really important, alerts. So you can have it sound an alarm when it detects a certain trigger, send push notifications to a mobile app, even send a text message to a phone. So you can configure all of these settings here within Blue Iris, depending on your preferences and how you want to be uh, alerted once something happens. So whether the camera is triggered, if a camera... Uh, group is triggered or any camera at all you know happens to get triggered you can set that up 
You have an override schedule for the camera. So this allows you to set schedules based on your security needs. So for example, if you don't want it running during certain hours, you can go ahead and turn it off or on and have an override setting here. Um, you can also do here, for example, camera is only active when externally triggered. So you would have to trigger that somehow. And then again, you have the zoom pan tilt setting. So if you have a camera that supports this, you can directly uh, activate these settings and adjust them here. Lastly, you have Watchdog. This focuses on loss of signal over the network. So for example, if your camera, like a network IP camera, happens to get cut off over the network, it tries to restart the camera window after a certain number of seconds. So if you're working with IP cameras or something like that, this is another great setting to adjust. Outside of that, you can adjust, of course, your camera views. You can view you know, all cameras, just one camera. So you can adjust your layout here, depending on your preference, if you want one kind of to be bigger than the other there. And again, you can just adjust your views, all canvases in one frame. You can go ahead and see here, you can auto cycle through camera views or just solo select a specific camera if that's what you want to do here. Um, and then you can group them together. You have you know other options here that you can adjust throughout the app. There's a ton of settings throughout Blue Iris. Since it is a security application, there's a lot of different things you can adjust. Clips and archiving, you can set up web servers or FTP servers um, for a connection through you know those. Um, again, just a lot of different stuff that you can configure here through the general settings um, with your hardware, keyboard macros, things of that nature. As you go down the list, you can see you can set up remote access. So if you want to go ahead and set that up, this uh, will walk you through that whole setup process. If you want to be able to access your security feeds remotely, let's say you're at work and you want to monitor at home, that's the purpose of setting that up. You can see the status of your overall system here and how that's going, the cameras, the app itself, the server, all of that through the blue iris status box. You can take a snapshot and adjust those, of course, rather than just taking video if you want to see that. You can choose to record, start, or stop the recordings of your camera as you please in a manual setting. And then the traffic signal, what this means is when the light is not green, all recordings, alerts, and transfers are paused. So when it's on green, it means go, everything's good to go. Red means your security system is on hold, essentially. And other than that, you just have the interface that you can kind of adjust with. It shows you at the very bottom some additional info, like your resources are being taken up by Blue Iris. You can see there um, some memory settings and things of that nature. Other than that, you have, again, full control and capability over your cameras here. And you can set them up, configure them as needed, and, uh, you know, of course, set up your security system. Now that all said, be sure to check our link down below to go ahead and check out Blue Iris if you want to go ahead and try a 15 day full trial or buy the software. Keep in mind by going over to the downloads page, you can see the minimum requirements when it comes to your PC. Since this does use a lot of resources, and especially if you're using multi cameras, they do give you some recommendations on hardware to have if you're going to be running the setup for a home security system or office or whatever it may be. Now further information again and when you choose to purchase here if you're going to go for the full version the le and the full version the only difference between these is the le only supports one single camera so if you only have one single purpose camera that you're going to be using you'll need the le otherwise if you want multiple cameras up to 64 camera systems you want to get the full version uh, again click on our link down below for more information that all said don't forget to check out Blue Iris if you're interested in security software to maximize your security and safety at the office, at home, what have you. Check out the link down below. Thanks for watching.